This video will be an introduction to hyperbolic trig functions. First, let's look at our circular trig functions. I've shown a graph of the unit circle. Remember, the unit circle has a radius of 1, and it has its center at the origin. Uh, so my unit circle has an equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Now I labeled a point on my unit circle with the coordinates cosine t, sine t. And if we put these coordinates into our equation of our unit circle, we get cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. And we can recognize this as our Pythagorean identity. Now let's do a similar process with our hyperbolic trig functions. With the hyperbolic trig functions, we're basing them on a unit hyperbola. And the equation for a unit hyperbola, which has vertices at 1 and negative 1, and this is also 1 and negative 1, um, the equation for a unit hyperbola is x squared minus y squared is equal to 1. Now let's go ahead and sub the coordinates of this point. Hyperbolic cosine t is the x-coordinate, and hyperbolic sine of t is the y-coordinate. Sub that into this, so we have the hyperbolic cosine squared of t minus the hyperbolic sine uh, squared of t is equal to 1. Now let's use our definitions to prove that this is an identity. Uh, by definition, the hyperbolic cosine of t is e to the t plus e to the negative t divided by 2, and then that's squared. Then minus, um, on this one, the hyperbolic sine of t is defined as e to the t minus e to the negative t divided by 2, and then that's squared. Now I'm going to prove that this left side is equal to 1. So first let's square this fraction. Um, the denominator will be 4. Then when I square a binomial, I square the first term. So that's e to the 2t. Then I take the first and second terms, multiply those, and then double that product. When I multiply e to the t times e to the negative t, I get e to the 0, because remember you add your exponents. And that's just 1. Then when I double that, I get 2 as my middle term. And then uh, square the last term. That'll give me e to the negative 2t. The same thing is done here. So I have a minus in between there. The denominator is 4. When I square the first term, I get e to the 2t. And then the product of these will be a negative 1. Doubled is negative 2. And then square my last term. That's e to the negative 2t. When I add these two together, I already have a common denominator of 4. Um, this, let me write this with this negative sign distributed through the trinomial. So e to the 2t plus 2 plus e to the negative 2t and then minus e to the 2t and then plus 2, and then minus e to the negative 2t. 
Well, this e to the 2t and this negative e to the 2t cancels off. Also, e to the negative 2t and negative e to the negative 2t, those cancel off. So all I have left in the numerator is 2 plus 2, which is 4. And then my denominator is 4. So this is equal to 1. So we've proven that um, this hyperbolic trig identity is true.